guys, my name is Origami Master, and I'm here again, except in a different place, um, to teach you another origami tutorial. I found this origami box in a box online. It's really cool, and it has a good locking mechanism so it doesn't fall apart. When you open it up, there's another little box inside. This is great for storing uh, jewelry like earrings or storing little shells you find on a beach on your favorite trip or something like that. But it's just a great, uh, great box. I found it online and I'm going to teach it to you now. And I'm sorry I haven't done another video for a while. I just never get the time. So for this size box, it's uh, about an inch and a half, two inches by about three and a half to four inches. I'm using this sheet of taunt. It's square. Uh, it's about, I think it's a foot by a foot. So it's pretty big. You can find these pretty much anywhere though. You can get really big paper in lots of places. So we're going to start by folding the paper in half, but don't crease all the way. You're just going to line it up and then crease one edge and then line it up on the other side and crease there. Unfold it. And then you're going to fold both sides to those crease marks and you're going to crease again just on the sides like that so now you've got four pinches then you're going to do the other side line it up make a pinch mark line it up on the other side make another pinch now you've got six pinch marks now what you're going to do is fold pick a side and fold it to the farthest set of pinch marks away from it and you're going to crease all the way across so we'll line it up with those two pinches and then crease all the way across now you're going to unfold that and you're going to fold the other edge to its farthest pinch marks, the other two far pinch marks. I'm going to line it up with the pinch marks. And then we're going to crease all the way across. So now you've got three sets of pinch marks and you've got two folds all the way across in the middle like that. Now you're going to pick a side again and you're going to fold both of the corners so that this far side or the outside edge touches the crease that goes all the way across. So it'll look like this. And crease it well and then you're going to fold the other side to the same line so now you'll have something that looks like this then you're going to fold up so that this bottom flat edge touches this opposite crease mark that goes all the way across and when you fold it you want to hold down these two uh, corners that you just folded in, the flaps, so that they don't spread outwards past the line. This is pretty hard, so it'll take a few tries to get it exactly right. And then you're going to crease all the way across, like that. And if you did it right, you should now have something that looks like this. Now you're going to fold this flap that you just folded up back down and you're going to fold it so that the new crease that is made lines up with the uh, line that you see here that was hidden before. 
and you're going to line that up and crease it well. So now you'll have something that looks like this. Oh, and if you're using one side, uh, one uh, paper that has one color side and one white side, I'm using color on both sides. But if you have a piece of paper that has color on one side and white on the other, then um, you should have a strip of white here, color here, and this should all be white. So you would start with the white side up. Now what you're going to do is take this flap again that you've been folding back and forth, and you're going to fold it up to the crease that you just made. So, like that. And then crease it all the way across again. And now you'll have a bunch of pleated folds like this. Now you're going to open this up part of the way. And I'll hold the paper up so you can see. Um, you have this flap with the crease that you just folded and this crease lines up with this raw edge um, at a kind of a point here and you're going to fold uh, that point towards this direction so that there's a new crease between this point and this point here so it'll look like this you're going to fold it up also so that this raw edge here, this section of raw edge here, lines up with this edge there. So you fold it up and flatten like that, so sort of like a squash fold. So I'm going to do that again. You've just folded this up, and then you fold it back part of the way. And then you take this point and fold it up so that there's this crease between these two points and that this raw edge lines up with that edge and then you're going to flatten and then you're going to do the same thing on this side so now you'll have kind of a rectangle here that you can pull up to go back to where it was before now you're going to do the same pleating sequence that we just did on this side. So you can slow the video down if you need a refresher, but I'm going to speed through this. Okay, now that we're done, you're going to see that you should have the same thing on both sides and it should look something like this. You're going to fold up one of the sides. You'll see um, you have these creases here. If I'm sorry if you can't see them, the lighting here is really bad. But you should have two creases just before these little flaps. You're going to fold in between these two points. So make a pinch there, make a pinch there, and fold. And if that's a little tricky, um, your reference point can also be folding this side so that these two points touch the corners of these little tabbies that you have here. So fold and crease that well. And make sure you crease really, really well because it can get kind of thick. And then you're going to flip the paper around and do the same thing on this side. Crease that well. Then you're going to unfold. And now you're going to fold right on this edge of the little tabs that you have here. So fold right along. And there are no other reference points for this, so if it's hard, you'll just have to get some practice. Do this model a lot of times. So it'll look like that, and then unfold it. And you see the creases are right on the edge of these tabs. Then you're going to flip it around again, and again do the same thing on this side.
and then unfold it. So now you'll have these four creases here. The next thing you want to do is orient the paper this way and then you're going to fold down on this uh, more inwards uh, line so you have these two here going between this point and this point. You're going to fold up on that but not all the way. You're going to crease it and then bring it up to about 90 degrees like this. And then you want to swivel these flaps inwards. So what you're going to do is hold on to this little tab, this little flap you have here, and then you're going to pull it inwards like that. And you'll notice two things happening. When you pull it inwards, this edge opens up, and this edge kind of pops up like that, creating an extra little space here. So you're going to pull that tab again so that both of these things happen. And then you're going to push it flat here and you're going to make sure this is creased well and stand up this side. And then you're going to do the same thing over here. So you're going to grab the tab and pull it inward, swiveling it like that. So now you should have these two other little flaps in here and the two sides of the box here are all opened up. Then you're going to flip the box around and you're going to do the same thing on this side. So temporarily flatten out these sides but being careful not to ruin this side. And then you're going to fold, fold this up and then swivel in the flaps. So you'll have the same thing on both sides. So now you're starting to see this basic box in a box shape coming together. You have the inner box here and then these flaps will come over to form the lid. Basically the box is done now but you just need to pull over the lids. So now come, now come in the other two folds that you made. There's a crease going there's a crease going right across here. You should see it on your paper just uh, above the new tabs here. And there's also the same crease on the bottom on the other side. And you're going to fold both of those. You're going to fold down on both of those like this. And you're going to fold the other one. And then you'll see on both of them, they have these sort of pockets here. You're going to tuck one's lid into the pocket of the other. One flap into the other. And if it doesn't go in, make sure it goes in on both sides so that it stays closed. And then, here you go. I now have two origami box in a boxes and they're both very useful they can store pretty much anything they'd be a great valentine's day gift even though that kinda already passed a while ago you can save it for next year so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something and comment down in the comment section if you have any questions and like this video and please please subscribe i'm almost at fifty subscribers and that would be amazing to have 50. I never thought I'd get even to 20. So, see you in the next video.